Hi all, this is Tyler Krompiatek from Canisius. At Canisius, we use desire to learn D12 for short, as our learning management system. In other terms, D12 allows faculty to create activities including discussions, quizzes, and drop boxes, and share course material for and with students. In this video, we will go over the basics of D12. Let's get started. The easiest way to access D12 is through My Canisius. Find and click on My Applications on the left-hand sidebar. Then find Desire to Learn. A quick tip here before we go further. We can click and drag this link and any other link in the sidebar to our favorite section. This makes it much easier to access D12 later on. Continuing on, click on Desire to Learn. This will open D12 in a new tab and take us right to the D12 homepage. On the right we have a few introductory tutorials. On the left we have the My Courses widget. We will take a closer look at that in a moment. Scroll down on the page, we have a few tools in the Help for Instructors and Staff section. This section contains a handful of important links, including the Detail Self-Paced Training Wiki page. Back to the top, let's take a look at the My Courses widget. This widget will allow us to find our courses. We can either click on the semester year or go to All to find our courses. We can also go to the squares grid in the upper right and search for courses. Another useful tip is to pin courses. This can be done in the My Courses widget by hovering over a course. Then click on the horizontal dots. Click on Pin in the menu that appears. The course will now appear in the Pinned section of My Courses. Let's take a look at a course space. Click on the title of a course to access it. This will take us to the course homepage. On the left we have the news tool which is useful for keeping our students up to date in the course. On the right we have Canisius' copyright statement. Below this we have the role switcher. This allows us to view the course as our students do. We can also access this by clicking on our name in the upper right. Then select view as a student. We follow the same process to get back to instructor mode. Below the role switcher we have the course calendar. This auto populates with start, end, and due dates, which we can learn more about from the D12 wiki page mentioned earlier. Let's take a look at the content area. To access it, scroll back up and click on content in the D12 course navbar. The content area will typically be empty when first accessed by faculty. This is where we share course activities and materials with students. A common way of breaking up the work is by creating folders, also known as modules, for each week. To create a module, click on Add a Module, then give it a name. When we create a module, we can start adding activities and materials. We can typically do this using the blue New button and the Add Existing Activities button. Back to the course nav bar. Discussions allow us to create asynchronous message boards. Dropboxes allow us to collect student work. Quizzes allow us to create online exams. Grades gives us an overview of students' grades as well as allowing us to input their grades. The class list allows us to view students in our course and allows us to email them. That's it for this video. For more in-depth tutorials and information, check out the Detail Self-Paced Training for faculty and staff. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at helpdesk at Thanks for watching and have a great day.